हे व्हाट्सअप गाइज इट्स मे मॉस टैक्ट एंड दिस इज द एस यू जेन फोन टू सो फाइनली सैन एज एन मोड फोर्टीन पॉइंट वन इज अवेलेबल फॉर दिस डिवाइस एक्चुअली आई वॉज वेटिंग फॉर ऑलमोस्ट वन मंथ फॉर द सी एम फोर्टीन बट डायरेक्टली सी एम फोर्टीन पॉइंट वन विच इज बेस्ड ऑन एंड न्यू गार्ड सेवन डॉट वन इज अवेलेबल सो करंटली आई एम रनिंग ए कस्टम रोम सैन एजन मोड थर्टीन बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉड सिक्स डॉट ओ डॉट वन मार्श मेलो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इनेबल द एडवांस रिबूट ऑप्शन in that phone but if you are on stock rom don't worry about that i will show you also another method to go to the bootloader mode and it's not simple and same method like previous installation of any custom rom in any phone you have to do some other things also so make sure the battery must be charged up to 50% or more and you have to put your uh, this two files in your sd card or otg sanal mode 14.1 or open gaps x86 7.1 mini micro pico anything you want just put that in your sd card now power of the device and also all the download links are in the description box so to go to the bootloader mode just press volume up key and power key at the same time and when the boot logo appears on the screen then leave the keys at the same time now we need to flash bootloader files because it's not able to install sanal mode 14.1 with the lollipop bootloader file so you need to download these two files in your pc and connect your phone to the pc as i've shown in the video just extract that or you can directly install from here adb setup to install adb drivers normally to perform adb tasks and also install uh, zenfone 2 drivers I have just forgot to show in the video but you can install that. Just install that by pressing Y Y again. Now close that. Now download this also. It is a marshmallow bootloader file. You have to install that. Extract this and open this folder. If you are already on marshmallow bootloader files, then do not worry about. It. You can install it again if you don't know what to do, what to not do. Just install as same as I am doing. No, not to worry about that. You can reinstall bootloader files again and again. It will not damage your phone. And also, you can see the recovery is here, which is compatible for CM fourteen point one. But uh, other TWRP recovery, which is available on TWRP website, is not able to install CM fourteen. So let's type fast boot devices to see whether our device is connected or not. So let's check again and reconnecting the phone. and now device is shown here so now device is connected now press back and go to this update now open this now it will flash some of the files automatically you need no need to do anything no need to type any command so if you press uh, any mouse click in between the command prompt then it will pause for a second so you have to press enter after that but uh, don't press any a mouse button in the command prompt it will do automatically everything it will reboot the bootloader and also uh, it will flash twrp recovery which is a marshmallow twrp recovery and it will able to install cm 14.1 after that just remove the usb cable from the phone scroll from the volume up key and select recovery mode and then press power button to go to the recovery mode now it will show this math, uh, message that uh, verification has been failed because we have just flashed some different uh, signature files in it but do not worry it will work fine now this is the cm actually twrp recovery now allow it and now you can see here name m1 is written in the end because it's compatible with marshmallow bootloader files now go to wipe advanced wipe and select everything except sd card and then swipe to wipe then press back back and go to install and select your storage otg or sd card whether it is just click on 14.1 and install that cm 14.1 and it will show two error just ignore that uh, and it will not uh, affect your installation just select gaps after that and install that Now click on wipe cache and delve cache. Swipe to wipe. Hit the reboot system. Now in about five to ten minutes, your phone will reboot, and it will complete all the process like system optimization app. 
so after waiting for 5 to 10 minutes it's done and now you can do the setup wizard so i will skip the setup and we will continue after that so this is signage mode 14.1 and there are two launcher i just installed mini gaps that's why google now launcher comes in this room so it's fast smooth and see the notification draw is a status bar it's really amazing i like uh, most the status bar because the notification drawer is amazing and also let's see the android version at the end it's 7.1 not 7.0 it's 7.1 and it's easter egg is not so much great uh, i would say that uh, we have to just collect the cats and some different stuff so you can see the build date and build number is written here just enable the developer option from the build number to enable root access going to developer options advanced reboot also help us and uh, root access is here just click on apps only and uh, let's enable the android debugging so that we can perform some adb tasks from pc so ram is available around uh, 2.9 gb which is really great on the first boot and storage is uh, we are getting around 54 point something or 53 point something which is nice thing but if you have 32 gb internal memory phone then you will get another space so let's test out the mobile data is it working in this phone or not so let's fire up the web browser and i'm on mobile data vodafone and let's search uh, some different thing like uh, asus so, uh, swipe keyboard is not working but we can install google keyboard and now it's searching so mobile data is working in this rom so no problem for that and i have installed the latest build all the download links are in the description box so not to worry about that and let's also test out the camera too actually there are so many scratches on my camera lens that's why we are getting green images but photos and videos is working so you can see the video recordings time is starting and we can stop here there's so many scratches i just ordered camera lens from aliexpress and i will uh, replace the lens so that i will get more sharp shots so this is all about installation of cm 14.1 and uh, if you have any problem about the installation or any suggestion just leave your comments in the comment section and also subscribe the channel for more videos and share this video and i will see you guys in my next video